Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Mezogvi. And I know it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these videos, but guess what? I'm back and I'm going to be making more videos. So, as for today's video, I will be going over the all new Jurassic World Chaos Theory Darius and Atrocity After Ghost Pack. This is actually from, of course, the all-new show, Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Uh, as for these packs, they are currently exclusive to Universal Studios, but I believe you can find them online? I'm not entirely for sure. But, interestingly enough, I saw these at Universal Studios yesterday, and I was like, you know what? I gotta get them. These will make a great video because I haven't seen these in stores before and I know these are brand new. So I got, of course, not only the Darius, but I had to also get the Yaz and of course the Kenji one. But of course these two will be coming in a future video. So stay tuned for that. But for today's video, we'll be looking at Darius. So looking at the box as you can see it is kind of similar to the uh camp cretaceous wait the camp camp cretaceous no no my apologies dominion as you can see the box is kind of like the dominion packaging where it has like the road and the mountains and all that but as you can see instead of taking place at night it's at dawn or dusk i don't know whatever but as you can see this is kind of a mix of two different lines it's a mix of the Chaos Theory line and the Epic Evolution line. Why did they do that? I don't know. But looking at the packaging on the blow, as you can see, Netflix, because that's what the show is on. You got the Blind Allosaurus from Battle of Big Rock. You got Grown Up Darius, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, I mean Chaos Theory, Epic Evolution. On the side, we got Chaos Theory, Jurassic World. On the back, you got advertisements for the Kenji and the Yaz sets. On the back, we got a diagram of grown-up Darius with the Atrociraptor Ghost. As you can see, he comes with a taser and a backpack that can indeed open up. Very interesting. On the side, you also got just written in text, Draft Gold Cassery. And then back on the front, of course, you got the set. Okay. So, of course, since these figures are Universal Studios exclusive at the moment, you are looking at a $22 price tag. But, if you have a Universal Studios membership, you will get a discount and the figures will run about like 15 bucks, which is what I personally paid for them. Okay, but with that out of the way, let's get this out of the packaging. Alright! So here is the figure out of the box. So as you can see, basically this set comes with obviously the adult Darius, a Atrociaptor Ghost, the Taser, and of course a backpack. So interestingly enough, out of all three uh, human pack sets, it seems to be the only set that's actually based on a scene from the show. Which, as you can see, this is based off of the scene where Darius tasers, I believe it's Ghost. I don't know, it could be another Trotsky I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure there is a scene in the show where Darius tases an Trotsky Raptor. So that's what this set is based on. So that's actually really interesting. So starting off with the Darius figure. I can see it's actually a lot like the original Darius from what was that, I believe 2019, 2020 I believe the other one came out. But of course he has his yellow jacket, a blue shirt underneath, grey pants, and dark grey shoes. Overall though, it's actually a really nice detailed looking figure. And of course when comparing it to the original Darius figure, as you see, it's actually very similar, like I said, with the colors of the yellow jacket and the uh, pants and all that. But overall though, it's a really nice looking figure. As for articulation, of course, it's just like every other human figure, so I'm not going to go too deep into it because we've all seen it. 
the head moves, arms move, legs move, all that. But yeah, overall though, really nice looking figure. All right, so as for the accessories Darius comes with, first of all, it comes with a backpack. Now I'm not entirely certain if this backpack shows up in the show, but it's a really nice looking backpack. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know if this shows up in the show. I don't ever remember this being in the show, so I apologize if I am incorrect. I'm sure somebody will probably correct me in the comments. And he also comes with the taser that he has in his cabin, which interestingly enough, you can actually take off the electric part. But yeah, really, really nice. And of course, the taser part, which is actually made out of rubber, which is really nice. But you just put that back on, and there you go. So with the backpack, interestingly enough, you can actually open up the backpack, which shows inside. Now granted, he doesn't come with anything to put inside the backpack, but still interesting that you can open that up. And of course, you can also unplug it that way. You can just wrap around his arm. Well, actually, it'll probably be, uh, where'd this go? This would probably go like right here. And then you get the strap put underneath his arm. <laughs> I'm trying to show this on camera. This is not looking good. Okay, so after like fiddling with the figure, as you can see, you can indeed put the backpack on him. And it looks really nice, actually. Like I said, I don't remember this showed up in the show, so I don't know why they include it, but still pretty nice. And of course, you can have him hold the taser. Unfortunately, since these are mainline figures and not hand collection figures, you cannot rotate the wrist on him, so it's a little bit tricky trying to get a nice pose with him holding it. But overall, though, yeah, you can recreate the, uh, the scene from the show where he tases an Atrociraptor. <laughs> All right, now looking at Atrociraptor Ghost, as you can see, it uses the same sculpt as the Plansura Atrociraptor figure from the Dominion line. So that's really interesting and uh, just a nice variety. But interestingly enough, uh, when, as you can see, this is actually not the same color scheme as the uh, Dominion Ghost of Trust Raptor. If I bring in the Dominion Ghost of Trust Raptor, uh, let me get him out. There he is. As you can see, he has dark brown striping, whereas uh, the Chaos Theory one, it has a little bit more brighter brown striping, and it goes along the back and like mid tail. Whereas this one, it's just long stripes that only on the body and the neck. Very interesting. Also, as you can see, this version of Ghost has a blood red eye, whereas this one has an orange eye. Whether which is more accurate, I personally don't know because I've never really looked at their eyes before. So looking at the sculpting of Ghost, as you can see, it's a really nice looking figure overall. The bottom jaw is more of a yellowish color. Going down the neck, there's no paint. And down the body, unfortunately, there's no paint on the claws or the toe claws or anything, or on the underbelly. But as you can see, you got some lighter brown striping going down until the middle of the tail. And the same goes on the other side of the figure. Starts on mid tail, then goes up to just behind the arms of the light brown striping. No colors on the uh, neck or the top of the head, but there is some on the face. As for articulation, as you can see, the mouth can open and close. The head can swivel and go up and down. Both arms can rotate. Of course, even the uh, <laughs> even the very like folded up arm can rotate as well. Both legs can rotate. And of course, the tail can swivel. All right, but besides that, this was the Jurassic World Chaos Theory Darius and Atrociraptor Ghost set. So, what do you guys think of this set? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you change? Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys got to say about it. But overall though, if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, tell me in the comments below. What would you like to see? But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, please subscribe. But besides that, I'll see you all next time. Peace.